He's a nation. One of the founding pillars was freedom of speech and freedom of expression, and yet we have imposed upon people restrictions on what they can say, on what they can think, and the media is the largest proponent of this, crucifying people who say things really quite innocently. As I've mentioned in other videos, YouTube is steadily, but surely, marching its way towards full-blown dictatorship. Okay, maybe that's a bit hyperbolic, but one thing that we can all agree on is that YouTube is getting big. Really big. One thing that history has taught us, when an empire becomes too big, it becomes much harder to control. Arbitrary rules are created to try to control the citizenry. Eventually, empires fall. It happened with Rome, and it will probably happen with YouTube. Something called imperial overstretch, or imperial overreach, takes hold. Essentially, when an empire becomes too big, it becomes too hard to manage and maintain. Too many harsh rules are created to try to keep the populace in check, but ultimately, the empire comes crashing down. Anyway, as an insurance policy to YouTube's eventual demise, or more likely, me being kicked off YouTube, I've signed up to a content sharing platform called Library L -B -R -Y, that is decentralised and owned by its users. From an end-user point of view, you can watch my videos just like on YouTube, but without the ads. Click the invitation link in the description below to get a sign-up bonus. All bonuses and rewards are given as LBC, library credits, essentially a Bitcoin-like currency. LBC are currently worth about 2.7 Australian cents. Sure, not very much, but they're giving them away just by you signing up. It's possible that if library really takes off, these coins could become really valuable. Anyway, whether they do or don't, the concept is a good idea. Currently, I have 131 LBC just by signing up and syncing my YouTube channel. As a YouTube creator, depending on how many subscribers you have, you can get a monthly bonus just by being on the platform. With 5,000 odd subscribers, I can get a monthly bonus of about 90 LBC. If one day Library becomes the go-to platform and Library credits skyrocket in value like Bitcoin did, well, you never know. 90 credits might be equivalent to $90,000. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The point is, if you sign up now, you'll get lots of bonus credits while the platform is still in its early growth stage. So what is Library? Traditional video or other content sites such as YouTube, Instagram and Spotify store your uploads on their servers and allow viewers to download them. They also allow creators to make some money through advertising or other mechanisms. However, there are some well-known drawbacks, especially for people whose material is perceived as not being advertiser-friendly. Library aims to be an alternative to these sites, allowing publishers and their fans to interact directly without the risk of demonetization or other meddling. What makes this all possible is the blockchain technology developed by the creator of Bitcoin. How and why Library uses blockchain. For the same reasons that nobody can prevent a Bitcoin transaction from taking place, nobody can prevent a transaction, like a publication or a tip, from appearing on the Library blockchain. Library is community-driven and open-source. We attempt to tie our own hands as much as possible so we cannot ever become an evil, faceless megacorp. By making everything open-source and standardised, anyone in the world can walk away from Library with everything intact, or make a new, better version. So why do all of this? Almost every tech giant today is a centralised service that sells users' personal information and attention to advertisers. We think users should own their content and their privacy instead of handing it over to a corporate giant and their advertising buddies. If you think we're paranoid, there are dozens of examples of companies abusing users and acting against their interests. It's not paranoia if they're actually out to get you. Anyway, they're my reasons for having all my videos synced with Library. If you just want to watch my videos, you can either watch them on Library or on YouTube. It doesn't really bother me either way. But as a creator, I've got a gut feeling that things aren't exactly right over at YouTube, and so I thought I'd better have some sort of exit strategy in place. If you're a creator, you can pretty much just set up a library account that will automatically sync your videos from YouTube, and you can just continue using YouTube as you always have. Set me as your inviter, and we'll both receive some bonus coins. There's really no extra effort on your part, apart from the initial setup, and you get some bonus coins while you're at it. So why not give it a go?